This is how to create your own GPT, and it's a new feature within ChatGPT that allows you to customize an AI to your specific use case. So this is the ChatGPT home screen, and you'll notice you have a new option on the top left side. You'll have all of the custom GPTs that you've enabled. Here's one that I created in another video. It's called Video Idea Generator. And then you'll have this Explore option. So you wanna click Explore. It'll bring you to this page where you have your GPTs. I have two right now. One is public and one is still in production. You'll have recently used, and it's the one that's public. And then you have those made by OpenAI. And they have a few default ones, like Tech Support Advisor, Laundry Buddy, and a Mocktail Mixologist. This page is soon gonna be a marketplace where you can search other people's GPTs. But for now, you just have my GPTs recently used and the ones by OpenAI. So if you wanna create a new GPT, you're gonna click Create a GPT. And it's going to bring you to this GPT Builder page. On the left hand side is the GPT Builder chat and you'll be able to create your GPT using natural language. So just talking to it. Of course you can upload files just like GPT-4 Vision. And on the right side you can preview your new model which is a great place to test your new GPT to see if it works how you want it to. Alright let's start creating a GPT. So I had this idea to create a fitness coach. Let's say you're about to go do a workout, but you want a workout plan. You can tell it your specific goals and it's going to spit out a plan just for that day. And then we can do some cool stuff with it. Like maybe you'll create it into a package, a file package that you can download to your computer, maybe like a spreadsheet or a Google doc. But for the most part, that's as complicated as the code's going to get. Okay. If you can read the initial text says, hi, I'll help you build a new GPT. You can say something like make a creative who helps generate visuals for new products or make a software engineer who helps format my code. What would you like to make? So it's simple, it's right exactly what we wanna make. I want to make a digital fitness coach that can create me a workout plan for the day. So I send that in, and what the GPT builder is gonna do, every time you write something new, every time you wanna make a change, it's gonna do this, updating GPT. And what it's actually doing is in this configure tab up here, it's changing all of your settings. So you talk to it with natural language and it's gonna change your configure settings. So we'll wait a second. First we need a name and it suggests a name for you. It says daily fit coach. So you can agree with this name or you can change it. I think it's close. I think I like daily fitness coach better. So I'm gonna put, how about daily fitness coach? Just put those in quotes. It's gonna to listen to that, it's gonna update. Next, it needs a profile picture, and it's gonna use Dolly 3 to generate a profile picture. If you can look on the right-hand side now, it's already created some initial prompts for your users to use to get started with your GPT. And it made create a workout plan for today, I need a high-intensity workout for today, suggest a beginner-friendly exercise, I'm assuming this is routine, and then can you modify my workout to avoid leg, I'm gonna guess that is stiffness. There, create a picture for me. It's a pretty cool picture. I can keep it as the profile or change it. Let's say I wanted to change it again. I was more thinking of an AI robot fitness coach. The robot is standing with a clipboard and a stopwatch around his neck. Picturing like a gym teacher, but it's a robot. So let's see what it can create from that. Again, it's guiding you through the process of creating your own GPT. It's nothing complicated you need to do now. I'm just seeing what it makes and I'm changing it. Okay, I like that. That's a bit better. It's kind of what I had in mind. I don't know about those colors on the left-hand side, but I think that's okay for now. Okay, it's automatically changed the profile picture to the new one we created. Now it wants us to define the context of the daily fitness coach. It's asking what type of workouts should it specialize in, or should it be versatile across various fitness domains like strength training, cardio, yoga. Also, should it incorporate any specific tools? or equipment in its suggestions or focus on body weight exercises? That's a good question. I'm thinking that my coach is gonna be catered for bodybuilders, people that wanna gain muscle mass and have a gym that they can go to. So let's put that in. So I said I wanted to cater to people who specifically want to gain muscle, bodybuilders of all levels and have access to a commercial gym. Now it's asking us, how should it respond when asked for a workout plan? Should it provide a detailed breakdown of exercises, timings and sets? Yeah, I wrote to be as detailed as possible, write out the exercises, sets, reps, rest periods, and then to remind it that you're only writing a workout for one day. Let's go at a time. And then one more thing it wants from us is how should it handle requests for modifying workouts like accommodating injuries or equipment limitations? Okay, if a person needs to change exercises based on equipment or injuries, then suggest the best replacement exercise that targets a similar muscle grouping. So an example would be if someone can't do a squat, 
maybe it will suggest the leg press. Okay, I'm gonna send this through. And like always, it should update the GPT. There we go. And finally, it has one more question for us. I actually really like this one. Should it remember previous conversations and build on past workout plans? And I wrote, yes, it should build on past workout plans. Recognize that if a person did legs on Monday, they probably shouldn't do legs again on Tuesday. Maybe change the muscle group to back or chest. And then it wants to know if it should use a friendly or casual tone. Let's make this a bit funny. Let's make this like a hard coach. Let's go as for tone, use a harsh, no nonsense tone. <laughs> like a hard European powerlifting personal trainer. I'm just picturing someone just yelling at you. So let's send that in. Okay, so finally it provides a summary of your GPT. It says all the things we talked about here. It's a direct, no nonsense AI coach specializing in gym based workouts for muscle growth. It remembers past interactions to build on previous workout plans and provides detailed, effective guidance. It says to feel free to try out the daily fitness coach on the right here. And then the GPT builder is here to listen to any refinements. So the process repeats itself. Itself. We can test it here in the playground and if we notice that we don't like its responses we can go back to the GPT builder on the left side and then change that up. But before I like to test let's go to the configure tab. So this whole time it's been changing stuff in the back end so I'm going to click configure and this is all the stuff that the GPT builder filled in. We got its profile picture here that we can change by clicking. We can use Dolly 3 to generate a new one or upload a photo ourselves. I like the name Daily Fitness Coach, you know, we chose that. The description is what's going here. A direct, no-nonsense AI coach for gym-based muscle growth. I like it. And the instructions is like a custom prompt. I'm going to click this button to make it bigger. And it's pretty much everything we talked about it. It's about muscle growth, access to gym equipment, detailed daily workout plans, mindful of muscle recovery and alternating muscle groups. You know, it added something in here that I didn't really say. It avoids extreme routines. It prioritizes safety and offers alternatives for equipment limitations or injuries. I think that sentence was built upon the injuries question. I'm going to delete this part because it doesn't really align with this no nonsense coach. It can offer alternatives for equipment limitations or injuries. And then it communicates in a direct, unambiguous manner, ensuring clarity in workout instructions. So let's close that now. So we've edited our prompt a bit. It also seemed to change our conversation starters. What's today's muscle building plan? Yesterday was leg day. What's next? I need a challenging chest workout. Alternative exercise for a strained bicep. Those are pretty good. We can add some more in, but I like to just have four. You know, sometimes I'll delete them all. Scrolling down, we can upload our own knowledge. We'll do that in a second. Next, it asks us what capabilities we want our new GPT to have. I don't think we need it to generate images with Dolly 3. Web browsing is interesting. I like the idea of it sending us to a YouTube video if we don't know how to do the exercise that it suggests. Let's keep that in. And we also talked about it creating a spreadsheet or a Google Doc about our workout. So for that, we'd need Code Interpreter. Code Interpreter allows it to create files that you can download. So I'm gonna check these two, I'm gonna uncheck Dolly 3. Okay, as for actions, actions are pretty much API calls that can be made outside of ChatGPT. For example, if we want it to change our calendar, on Google Calendar, we'd need an API call. They give us a bunch of examples here, like a weather JSON or pet store. I don't think this coach is gonna need any API calls, so we're gonna leave this blank. And that seems pretty good for now, so let's start testing. I need a workout for today. Let's see what it spits out. Okay, it wants to say which muscle groups did you work on last session and if there are any injuries or equipment limitations I should be aware of. Perfect, just what we said in the instructions. I'm just gonna go, yesterday was a rest day. I'm all healed up to start new. No injuries or equipment limitations. Great, let's hit it hard then. Since you're fresh and ready to go, we're gonna target major muscle groups for a full body workout. Interesting, I thought I was gonna do a specific muscle group. All right, it's starting us with squats then a bench press, then a deadlift, then a pull up. This is a heavy workout. Then a military press and some barbell rows, then an ab circuit. And this workout would beat me up. I guess it's doing that no nonsense approach. So this is telling us to warm up for 10 minutes and stretch before starting. Okay, let's ask it if it can put it into a spreadsheet for me. All right, it's saying it needs a second to do this. You can click here in the back end to see the Python script that's writing. And it's adding that all in, like the squats, bench press, deadlift, all the exercises it said earlier, all the sets and the reps. Let's minimize this. And look at that, it created a hyperlink to download that full body workout plan. Let's download it. Okay, it's been downloaded. Let's go to Google Sheets to open that up. All right, I'm uploading this in Google Drive. All right, that's pretty cool. It made a spreadsheet. Look at this. Let's just stretch these columns out. 
Hey, look at this, a whole workout plan in a spreadsheet created by a custom GPT. Now I could take this to the gym with me so I know exactly what exercise I need to do. I didn't like that I had to ask it to do a spreadsheet. I think just a regular user is not gonna know that it's an option. I want it to suggest that to us. We only knew because we talked about it. So I'm gonna go into the instructions and I'm gonna go like this. Okay, I probably don't need this long of a prompt for the last part, but we're gonna try it. After giving the workout plan, ask the user if they would like it in a spreadsheet so that they can take it to the gym with them. They agree, turn into a spreadsheet and present a downloadable file. I don't know if I need that last part. It might be smart enough to know just what I mean, but now we're gonna test it again. We'll quickly go, what's today's muscle building plan? I'll use one of the prompts it gave us. They are perfect, it starts with the same question. I said I did a lot of chest exercises like bench, incline, dumbbell press. So let's see if it avoids the chest in today's workout plan. Okay, he's saying he'll shift the focus to back and biceps. Creating the workout pull-ups, barbell rows, lat pull-downs, some seated cable rows. You got your bicep curls and your hammer curls and face pulls. And look at this last question. Would you like this workout plan in a spreadsheet to take to the gym? Beautiful. Let's go yes, please. And if it all works, it should write the Python code, put that into a spreadsheet that I can download and take to the gym. And it's done, let's download it. Interesting how this spreadsheet was a little different this time. It took away the rest period column, but it added a notes column. So to guide my workout, I could just send this to my phone and take it to the gym. Okay, everything's looking pretty good. I wanna go back to the knowledge section. So knowledge in custom GPTs is your own information that you'd want the GPT to draw from when performing its tasks. And you can upload various types of files like PDFs, docs, spreadsheets. And let's show an example of how that'd look like. So I'm gonna open an incognito tab, go to YouTube, and let's say there was a YouTube fitness coach that I really liked what he was speaking, and I wanted to grab his knowledge base to feed my custom GPT. I'm gonna go with Renaissance Periodization. Let's click into this. Let me go to playlists and let's scroll and scroll and scroll. And I like this series, the advanced hypertrophy concepts and tools. So it's view full playlist. What I would do is I would grab each of the video transcripts from this playlist and I would upload it as custom knowledge to feed my personal trainer. It would give him the most up-to-date knowledge on hypertrophy training. So let's click the second video in the series. Let's go show transcript. Let's toggle the timestamps. I'm gonna copy everything. Let's open up WordPad, paste this in. I'm gonna save this as personal trainer knowledge. Now back in ChatGPT, we can go to upload files, find that document, and there we have our own knowledge base that if need be, the daily fitness coach will draw from. If I were to make this a legit fitness coach, I'd like to go through all of his videos and grab all of this text, all of these transcripts, and upload it as knowledge. And it's almost like we have Mike Isratel talking to us when we're designing a fitness plan. That's pretty amazing. Now from my understanding, there's a max 10 files allowed in the knowledge base, and some people have experimented and found that it was 50 gigabyte limit. I might test this in a future video, but with something like this example, you would never hit the threshold of the knowledge, so not a big deal. Okay, and finally, in the top right corner here, there's a few options first. If you'd like to delete your GPT, and I like this, we just created this, I'm not gonna delete it. The other option is to save it. Right now it's just in draft, and you have a few options. You can publish only to me, so only you can see it in your chat GPT dashboard. You can publish it only to people with a link, almost like a private video or a private Google Doc that you get a special URL for. Then the last option is public. If you hover over it, it says this GPT may appear in the GPT store, that it's coming soon. They said by the end of November, the marketplace should be released. I'm gonna make this public so that other people can use it. And when I hit confirm, it adds it to my left bar. And here I have a URL that I can use that I can send to people. This is the public link to the GPT. So if someone were to paste this in, it would go right to a new conversation with your daily fitness coach. Okay, that was how to create a custom GPT in ChatGPT. For those that go ahead and try this out for themselves, drop a comment with a link to your GPT so that we can all try and test it. We'll all get new ideas for our own custom GPTs. Let's create a community where we're all improving our daily AI use cases. So there's tons of possibilities. I wanna see what you guys come up with.